What's up, everybody? This is Gibbatron09 back in with another video. And I haven't made one in a while, mostly because I went to New Hampshire for a week and obviously didn't pick up anything. But I do have some pickups for you today, some from before New Hampshire and some from yesterday, actually. And I believe almost, yeah, half about half of my pickups are from yesterday just because um, I found some cool deals and just some cool games and I decided to pick them up. So first, I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to basically go in chronological order, I guess. I went to GameStop. Uh, earlier before, uh, in June and I picked up two puzzle games actually I was kind of in a puzzle game crave and one of the games is actually getting hard to find and the first that, that is Medios and this is actually a pretty hard to find title on the DS and I grabbed it for four bucks which is a great deal and then I grabbed Polarium which was only two bucks so I paid about six bucks for both of these both are really fun puzzle games and this one's even kind of hard to find so that was a really exciting pickup and next I picked up Chrono Trigger and Clubhouse Games, and I grabbed those at um, Newberry Comics. And um, I've heard some weird things about Clubhouse Games. Some say it's rare, some say it's not. Um, I've had a hard time finding it, but I, and I was really happy to, to find it when I did. And then I grabbed Chrono Trigger, and I've never actually played Chrono Trigger before, so I was really excited to pick it up. Um, there are, you know, I could play it on an emulator, especially on my Ace card, but. I don't. I had no interest in you know playing emulators. I'm not a huge emulation guy. It really takes away from the experience of the game. So I really wanted to pick up this up, and this goes for twenty dollars at GameStop, and I actually grabbed it for sixteen at Newberry Comics. So I was glad to save a little bit of money there. And this is also hard to find in stores just because the demand for this game is very, very large. So I was really happy to pick that up. And this next pickup is actually. I'm, I mean, I'm really excited about this. This is a game that I've wanted since I started gaming. It was probably. After I picked up Shadow of the Colossus, that might have given it away. I really wanted this game, and that's Eco for the PS2, and it's complete, and in basically perfect condition. I don't know if you can tell, but there's nothing wrong with this game. It's perfect. Um, I wonder. I mean, I even wonder if it was new and just not in the wrapping. But anyway, um, I grabbed it for twenty bucks, and I grabbed it actually off of Amazon. Um, just because I really want to try it out, and I'm really, really excited about it. And it's actually, it's a blue disc, so I don't know if that, if that even means anything, but I know that Ico is hard to find out in the wilds, and I really just wanted to play it, and so I grabbed it. And also, because this was $20, I figured, and this is also off of Amazon, so I would have, if I had spent another $5, I would have free shipping, so I grabbed the Power Stone Collection for the PSP, because this is also hard to find in my area, but not exactly a rare game. And yesterday I actually had a, a good time shopping. I went out with a buddy and we kind of just went, you know, shopping around for some games, it's something that we like to do every once in a while. And um, so first I went to Newberry Comics and I grabbed this game, Eco Creatures Save the Forest, for the DS. Um, it was seven bucks and I heard it's actually a relatively interesting strategy game. Um, I, heard, I think it got pretty bad reviews, but um, I'm gonna, I, I gave it a shot, you know, seven bucks, why not? And then next at GameStop, I grabbed some, just some kind of like fillers, some cheap games. This was 90 cents, and that's the um, Burger King Racer, Pocket Bike Racer. It was one of the uh, Burger King promotional games, and I grabbed that for, you know, 90 cents about. Then I grabbed um, Beyblade V-Force for the GameCube, and this was two bucks. Um, I also, like, I think it was about less than that, just because I had my card. And so I grabbed that. And I also grabbed, this is kind of a game that I, I was in the mood to play this game. This is a game that I really wanted as a kid, but never wanted to spend the um, the full the full price for it. And it took a really while, long time for it to get down. By the time it was down at a price I wanted to pay, I was focusing on, you know, RPGs. But I went back and uh, decided to pick it up. And I've had a lot of fun with this. This is the game I've been playing more than any other game for the past few days. I'd say I've been playing it for at least five hours uh, with friends by myself. And that's... Super Mario Strikers for the GameCube, and um, I am in. I'm actually into GameCube collecting. My collection's right there. I have good over fifty games, and I definitely want to try and get almost a full collection. I'm not really going for the sports games, uh, and it'll be hard to get. You know the Fantasy Stars and stuff like that because those are hard to find. But um, I'm I'm going for it anyway. And speaking of hard to find games, I picked up one the other day, and that's. Tells them Symphonia for the GameCube, and it's in great condition, complete. Um, I grabbed it at GameStop for twenty bucks. Um, it was 
there aren't really GameStops in my area that have it, so I was really shocked when I saw it, and I just had to pick it up. Um, it's player's choice, and I haven't seen it anywhere otherwise. Um, so the player's choice didn't really matter to me. It was in too good condition to pass up. So I grabbed him, and I think I already mentioned this, but all my games this week were complete. And finally, my last pickup is Shin Megami Tensei's Strange Journey for the DS. And this was the the, the um, one that came with the CD. I grabbed it used for 13 bucks at GameStop and was lucky to grab it with the uh, CD with it. And I was really excited about that. And I haven't played it yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. So both, most of my gaming has been Chrono Trigger, which I have been enjoying. A little bit of Power Stone. I had a, a, a week where I was kind of trading in between Meteos and Polarium. And then recently it's been Super Mario Strikers. And that was kind of a quick uh, explanation of my gaming and also my pickups for this week. And I'll see you guys later.